Chickens, we're going to do some rotisserie chicken. Just got to get the bags open. All right, we're just going to do a basic little trim up. Get some trims up on the insides here. Grab some of these fatty areas. Sometimes the tail gets in the way. Sometimes there's a little bit up here in the neck area. This particular one looks pretty good. Here we go. Alright, that one's not too bad there. Just a nice little bits all around. Nice little bits all around, all around, and nice little bits all around. Alright, so next what I do. I just take a few paper towels, just like to dry off the area, dry off inside just a little bit, just because you don't look to have too much liquid inside when I'm doing this. We're going to brine with salt for chicken. Okay, just take it like this. Spread it all across, get it around the legs, there we go, around this side, around here. I don't know if the camera's going to show this, but how much I'm actually putting on it. A little bit inside, off we go. Do it again over here. Chicken, salt. And the nice part is it's going in a bag, in one of those gallon bags. And that makes it really nice to condense that salt, that saline solution that forms as it pulls all of this out. So, don't want to go too much, don't want to go too little, and as you play with it, you find out what works for you. That simple. Now we take one of our bags, because this needs to go in the refrigerator, it needs to be brined in this between 12 and 24 hours. All right, so take this and one wing, the other wing, and a nice little French coat. There we go.
All right, got our chickens off the smoker. Happy times, I took them off the spit. I set them in the microwave just to let them rest for a little while because we had other things we had to do this afternoon. Wanted to make sure we get some broke tisheries on the outside video camera. So I'll just pull the forks out. I just like to sink it in. They come out pretty easily when it comes to this. I like to grab onto the screw. Forks come right out when you do it that way. First thing to do is get the strings taken off. There you go. Got the string for that. Got the strings. I usually take the legs off in a quarter. So I lift that up like this. And I just gently slice it down through there. Keep going down through, down through. And once you get to this area, I just put a little slice in the back and everything comes right off. Slices it right through, gives you a quarter. Next one, just bring it right here, slice it right down through, just like we were doing. There we go. Pull that bone right through, slice it right off. There we go. Usually like to do the wings next. Here's the bottom of the wing, the real wing, the drumstick piece of the wing. Just lift it a little bit, watch your fingers, slice it all around. In the whole bird. There you go. Once you do that, you can pop it open, find that bone, just go set your knife right under the bone, close the wing up, and there you go. Got the whole wing. At this point in time, everything's starting to sit in the juices, so things start to get a little slick, but that's okay. All right, here's the next wing. Just gonna lift it up a little bit, like I said, slice it through, spin the bird. Slice it around, pop it open, close the joint, and there we go, right there. There it is. All right, so that gets us one bird, the wings and leg quarters off. All right, so now I'm just gonna cut it straight down right along the, the sternum. I never do get it exactly perfect, and the nice part about that is by not hitting the sternum perfectly, I'm able to go right down the side of one of it. Okay, it looks like I'm going to be on the right-hand side of the sternum this time. So what we're going to do is we have this big slice right down the sternum. I like to slice out the entire breast. So watch your fingers, slice right through there, slice right through there, all the way up and around. There we go. Now I just need to get right in through here. And I just gently ease that away for my purposes. And there we go. Got an entire breast off right there. Pretty cool. Now this next one's a little tricky because we're on the wrong side of the sternum. So we're gonna start over here just like we did. We're going to carve this through all the way down, all the way around. Get it right up along that sternum. Now we have to find our way under here. And you can just a gentle slice like that, gets you all the way across. And there you go, got the other breast. The rest of this is all gonna be loose meat. And usually speaking, you can just grab your thumb and just rub it along there. And that pulls all this white meat off from the extra around the breast. I just have a second plate over here for that. All right. Same thing here. And uh, sometimes I'll use the back of the knife or the edge side of the knife to hold the chicken for me. I'm not trying to cut anything at this point. Most everything from now to the end of this process is just gonna be so tender and juicy, it just comes right off the chicken. And I'm not looking for a hundred percent clearance of this, of all the meat off, and I'll show you why in a little bit. Right through there. There we go. That completely cleared the, the white meat off of all of here. Okay. Now the 
last things to look for are right up at the front. Right there, we had a little bit of meat that was up next to the neck area. We have a section down underneath here. We have the back by where the legs are, and you have the front by where the wings are. The wing area is usually a little bit tough because you're going between a couple of different bones there. So you grab a chunk of meat off of there, right along that bone. There's another piece of meat I can feel. And that's what's nice is you can feel the meat as you're doing it. Then right back through here, you can feel this section of meat right there in that joint. There we go. A couple of little pieces there. And that's good enough for our purposes. Back over here, do the front section. There we go, we got underneath that bone on this one. And we pulled that right through the bone. Nice section there. This is a kind of a fatty, gristly section right there. And then right back through here, a piece off the front that we didn't get a minute ago. And pull this off here. Okay. And that is how I carve out a chicken. Now, I'm going to take this. Because that is not garbage. I don't know what other people think that is, but this is not garbage. That's going in a stock pot. Big pot back over here. Any extra little pieces off of here is going in there as well. And any bones that uh, for leftovers, anything that has a bone in it for the after dinner time, I take that and uh, pull the meat off of it, and that bone also goes in the stock pot. All right, I'm gonna fast forward through this one, but this is the same exact idea. Leg. There we go. That is the way that we do our rotisserie chickens. From preparing the chicken to brining it so that it's ready for us by a 12 hour brine, that dry brine in the refrigerator for 12 hours. Then we smoke it. Then once it's done smoking, we bring it inside, let it cool. And then we go ahead and take all of this, carve it all up. Now, stay tuned for the next video that I do in regards to the rotisserie chicken, which is gonna take the stock and what we're doing up there and how we're gonna make that into the best smoked chicken stock you've ever had in your life. Put that in with your rice when you're cooking. Oh, that's a game changer. Your dishes that have rice in it are all gonna be a new flavor. For today, enjoy yourself. We'll catch you another time.